All right, so I've got a pretty nasty toilet here, as you can see. Um, basically, I've got what could be um, rust on the back of the toilet there. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. We might find out here. But I'm basically going to try out this uh, iron out rust stain remover. And uh, so I'm just going to go through the process and video as I go and see how all this works. But basically the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my water. This is just in a rental, by the way. Um, and uh, then flush the toilet here. Try to get the water to drain out without filling back up. There we go. And then probably have to do that again. And it might just be where it ends up here. Yeah, okay, so that's what we got. So, um, anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna just take this and uh, put it around the outside there and uh, I'll video once I do that. So I just, uh, just took this and uh, tried to put some around as high up as I can. It's fizzing and it actually smells like mint. Um, yeah, so wasn't really expecting that. But uh, something's going on there. Hopefully that's a good sign. Oh, look at that. Actually, you can tell. That's amazing. <laughs> I did not expect that. But you can tell. I think I think it's actually uh, melting away some of that stuff there. I'm actually going to put a little bit more on. Because I think it's uh, wiping away some of it. I think I'm going to get a... Uh, sponge here and um, try to wipe it around a little bit more than all right so that around. was all I all I did was wiped around the edge with the sponge there and uh, that's a huge improvement I, I didn't expect that um, that's pretty cool one thing I was reading on the instructions is it says to make sure it's wet it was wet the first time but I'm gonna try to put a little bit more water on the second time and uh, put some more stuff on there and probably let it sit a little bit longer all right so here we go, got some more on there. Just letting it fizz. Even put some back here just for fun. Um, just to see, I mean, you can see how terrible the side looks there. <clears throat> just out of curiosity, if I let it sit, will it, some of that come off? I think it will. Um, I'm just gonna let this sit for a little while again. All right, so, ended up using up the rest and uh, it's about as good as I can get it with this stuff. Um, I did notice that I had seen someone do this before and they did it the way I did. Um, towards the end there, I did it the way the box said, which was, says to wet area to be cleaned, apply powder to damp sponge or cloth, rub lightly until stains are gone. So I didn't, when I was showing it, I was putting it directly on the, the bowl. Um, if you want to follow what the instructions say, they say to put it to a sponge. I did try it that way just for what it's worth. Um, towards the end and uh, it probably would conserve a lot more of um, your soap if uh, your stain remover here if um, you were putting it directly on your sponge than the the bowl or whatever you're going to use it on um, but anyway um, it definitely works obviously it isn't a cure-all in that you know I still have some stains here it's a lot better um, but, uh, not perfect. So, um, I like this stuff. I think if I have, I mean, it's, it's all, yeah, I don't know. I, I think for, it does what it says it'd do. Um, I give this a pretty good rating. Um, I have seen it work better than this before, but anyway, um, this is for what it's worth. Anyway, if you do want to buy this, I have a link to Amazon in the description. I think it was $11 for me. It might be cheaper in a store near you. Um, but, uh, um, anyway, um, let me know if you have any thoughts or questions, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks a lot.